defender, protector, keeper. I served as a Green Beret in the Army Special Forces. I was proud of that service. Still am. I saw myself as a guardian of freedom in America itself. Guardian takes on a new form for me now. I used to think that I was the best picture of service and guardianship. But now being back here as a citizen, living out my American dream, exercising my own American freedom. I see guardianship all around me and it started from birth. My ideas about service and guardianship, well, I didn't learn them easily, and I think the Lord knew it would take a lot to knock the chip off my shoulder. Towards the end of my career, a couple decades in the Army, I was wounded in Afghanistan. And it changed my career, and it changed my life. I'm sorry that it took that much for me to see what we have here. I spent so long thinking of myself as the guardian. I wound up being a patient in a hospital, blown up and badly burned. My life was blown apart and I, I couldn't even take care of myself. And then I found out there were guardians all around me that didn't even know me. They were safeguarding my well-being, my health, my survivability. I see game wardens and wildlife officers managing our resources and, and making sure that poachers don't get the best of populations in certain areas where they may be threatened. None of this is any less guardianship than what I provided as a soldier. If anything, it means a little bit more because this stuff at home makes up what the next generation will decide is worth serving and fighting and dying for or not. the farmers, they're the factory workers, the supervisors that make up the fabric of America. And it wouldn't look the same as it does. I'm not even sure it would be worth fighting for if they weren't doing what they do. So it really is one team in one fight. From my perspective now, we're all guardians, all of us. Being out here in the wilderness, being in nature on a hunting trip, I understand very well that no matter how technologically advanced we get, no matter what conveniences we have, the advantages we have over what generations before us enjoyed, we still can't simulate nature. We can't reproduce this. We have to take care of it. We have to be guardians of it. And I see that as important as any guardianship that I've ever provided. I know, now we're indestructible. Enjoying peace like I can now, it's a lot different from being at war. But I still feel the same gravity knowing how bad it can get. 
we don't do things right. And we have to fight together as guardians to keep the peace. Now that I've fought like I have for this freedom and I almost died for it, I really want everyone to love everyone here. And I get tired of seeing the judgment that we cast on each other. It's unfair and it doesn't pan out. We fail as a team as long as we still focus on our perceived little petty differences instead of embracing around these absolute commonalities we have. After 23 years as a warfighter, I'd have never guessed I could still feel like I'm 14 years old. This hunt, boy, it got me going. I was so nervous. When I saw the animal, that, that was the one I was looking for. That's what I hoped for the whole time. My heart was pounding like I was in the war, except this was a joyful experience. I want everyone to feel this excitement. I want everyone to be here with me. Let's all get on board and I, I just don't believe that you can feel this and not become a guardian for it. Guardians, all of us. And if we're gonna be that, we have to be unified around our absolute commonalities in this freedom. The man that I thought I didn't like at all was the one that saved my life on the battlefield. And then how I loved him. And I see the same now around us every day. We're not embracing each other. Quit squabbling about petty little perceived differences. We have something so valuable and we're on the same team. We have enough to fight against. Let's just hug it out and learn to love each other with this great commonality we have and the best version of freedom that's ever existed in mankind. I didn't know that, that loving my fellow man was the way to be ready. But I do now. At this point in my life, I'm proud to, to be seen as a guardian. But if you love freedom, or you love your children, aren't you? We are guardians, all of us, or we should be. He stopped behind both trees, right behind them from us. <laughs> Keeping the fabric of freedom together and being one team in one fight well, thank God that doesn't mean we have to all be the same. We can pursue our pleasures and exercise our freedom in very different ways. But I've learned that I need people who are different than me because there are things I can't see around the next corner that maybe you can. What we know is very small and what we don't know is vast. We do need each other. <laughs>